But at the same time, and the reason we focus on this is in a press conference earlier on Wednesday, the Justice Minister and Attorney General Johnston Businje said that in the prosecution of these crimes, there should be no distinction between what some call big fish and small fish, but what should be taken into account is the seriousness of the crimes in the interests of justice. But those big people, what is clear, uh, what we are reminded by our own laws and our leadership what we are reminded all the time is that one, you should hold yourself accountable. Two, if you fail to do that, this law that we have will hold you accountable. And it has generally happened. So with, with fraud, with, with mass embez um, uh, uh, big embezzlement, uh, with tax, with uh, uh, negotiable instruments, checks, and so on, there are no-go areas. These are no-go areas. You don't need to cross those lines. And the reason we focus on this is don't tamper with these resources because they are meant to take us to 2050. They are meant to take us to somewhere else. And if you derail that pro if you take away these resources, you are derailing this program. So you, you just can't do that. There's been a mounting concern of high-profile people or what people would call the big fish abusing public office who are being prosecuted for various crimes against the country's economy and national resources. The director of Transparency International, Rwanda Ingabire, Marie Immaculate, says these are significant changes and are changing the face of justice and it increases confidence that it will be productive this time round. <laughs> It's our resources and it's for all Rwandans. They aren't personal resources. You can't be paid and then go ahead and embezzle funds. It affects the economy of the country and it affects all the plans the government has. Secondly, it makes the government lose value because then it's not operating on its guiding principles. There are times when the judicial sector does its job, but when it gets to the court, because of lack of evidence, it yields to nothing. A 2018-2019 Auditor General's report showed that 8.6 billion Rwanda francs was wasted in the public sector and 5.6 billion in 2018 in addition to the lack of transparency in procurement and other factors that caused the government to incur losses. Regarding the recent decision of the French Court of Appeal in Paris to drop the case in the downing of former President Juvenal Habyarimana's plane, Minister Businge says that since the beginning of the investigation, there has been no basis for the non-judicial interests. I mean, justice should, in the first place, begin because there is a justiciable matter. There is a legitimate uh, suspicion that an offense has been committed by this particular person that I'm uh, suspecting. Now, for this case, there's nothing like that. And this is why I say this is uh, a travesty of justice. It is, it, is, it is a hoax that should never have begun in the first place. Uh, I, I continue to think that uh, uh, the same dismissal uh, uh, that this one was probably the last. Uh, so the whole world should have seen what we said ever since this case began, that this was a travesty of justice. By saying it was a travesty of justice, I was looking at this. Look at the timeline. One, a case begins that should never have begun. It begins from very wrong premises. The minister and attorney general also went ahead and said that the Rwandan judiciary is continuing to monitor the trial of Felicier Kabuga and other cases of genocide suspects in cooperation with the international community and the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda. Reporting for RTV, Gloria Mutesi.